All right then, so now we have the function guides to return the data if we're logged in. If we're not logged in, we get back this status code and this message right here. So what I'd like to do inside the guides page is to output the content, the guides, if we have them, and also output an error if we have that instead, if they're not logged in. So I want two pieces of state, one for the guides and one for the error. So let's create those first. So const and then guides and set guides. And we're gonna set that equal to use state. Press this to auto import it from React. And to begin with, this is gonna be null when we first load the page. We also want one for the error. So const error and set error. And we set that equal to use state again. This time, this is gonna be null as well to begin with. All right, so we have this. Now, what we need to do is update these values dependent on the result of this. So right here, what I'm gonna do is delete this and open up a function instead. So right here, when we get the response, what I'd like to do is just log this to the console. So console.log response like so. And if I save this and refresh, we can see right here the response object, yeah? Now inside this, we have an okay property. Now notice in this case, it's false. And that's because we're getting this error status code back right here. So we know from this property, okay, being false, that we don't have the guides and there was some kind of error, an authentication error in our case. So we could use that property to determine that on the front end. And if this is false, then we can throw an error. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna check response.ok. So I'm gonna say if, and then not response.ok. And that means that if this is false, then it's gonna fire this block. So if it's not okay, the response, we want to throw an error and that error is gonna have a message and I'm gonna say you must be logged in to view this content. Now you could use the error message we get back from the response, but I don't want to have to pass the JSON to do that. So I've just made up this error message right here. Now, since we have an error being thrown here, we can catch that in the catch block. So at the end, I'm gonna tack on a catch method. And this fires a function if an error is thrown and we take in that error as an argument to that function. Now with this error, we can do something. And what I want to do is update this error right here. So I can use set error to do that. And I'm gonna set it equal to the error object we get right here, dot message. And the message property is this thing right here. So all we're doing is updating the error state with this message. If there's an error, if the response is not okay, so that we can show it down here in the template later on. Now, if we do get an error at some point, I want to set this to null. It's null already to begin with, but they might log in and we might update that later on. And if they then log out, I want to reset this back to null. So what I'm gonna do is set that to null right here. So set guides and then null, like so. Okay, so that's the error kind of sorted. We've not output it yet, but in terms of the fetch, that's all we need to do. Now, if this response is okay, then it's not gonna fire this if block and it's gonna carry on instead. And at that point, I want to return response.json so we can get the data because if it's okay, we obviously have data on the response. So at that point, this then method is gonna fire. Now we don't just want to log out the data to the console in this case, we want to update the guides right here. So I can say set guides and then pass in the data to do that. And I also want to reset the error. So I'm gonna say set error and set that to be null. Again, because if we first land on the page and we try to make this request without being authenticated, we're gonna get an error right here, right? Because we set it over here. Now, if we log in and stay on the same page, it's gonna try to make this fetch request again and get the data back. I then don't want to keep the error and keep showing it on the page. So I want to reset it and that's why we do this. All right, so now we're setting the error and the guides dependent on the state of this fetch request. Now what we can do is check for those properties inside the template and output them if we have them. So let me get rid of this H2 and instead we're gonna do a few different lines of code here. The first thing I'm gonna do is check for auth ready because if auth ready is not true, then 
we're not going to show anything yet. And at that point, maybe we show something like a loading screen or a loading message. So I'm going to do curly braces and say not auth ready. So if authentication is not ready yet, then I'm going to output a div that just says inside loading. So until we've established that identity connection, we don't know really whether we're going to get the data successfully or not. And during that time, even if it's only for a second or a split second, we're going to show loading. All right. So the second thing we want to output, if we have an error, is the error. So error and, and then we're going to output a bit of template. So parentheses inside here, I'm going to do a div with a class name, and I'm going to set that equal to styles dot error like so now i can access styles because i import them right here from the guides module which is inside the styles folder over here now we'll add in the error class later on but for now let's just give it that class and close off this div as well now inside this div i want to output the error inside a paragraph tag so error like so so only if we have an error then we'll output the error all right, so finally, if we have the data, I want to output the data. So we need to check for the guides and then double ampersand. And then we want to map through the guides because it will be an array of data. And we'll take each guide as we map through it and we'll return some template for each guide. So the template I want to return is going to be a div first of all. So let's open and close this. Now this needs a key property because when we map through data and output a template for each item in that data, each item that we output has to have a key property so that React can keep track of them. So the key is going to be unique for each one. I'm just going to use the title because the title of each guide in my case is unique, but probably normally you would use something like an ID property. All right then. So I'm also going to give this a class name and set that equal to styles.card. Again, this class doesn't exist yet, but we'll make it later. All right then, so inside this, we'll do an H3, and that will be for the guide title. So guide.title, and then under the H3, I'm gonna do an H4, and that is gonna say written by guide.author, because we have an author property on each guide. And then finally, I'm just gonna do some lorem ipsum right here, but to be honest, that would probably be some actual real data for the guide if we had it. So instead of just having a title and an author, maybe it would have a content property as well. And we'd output that right here. All right. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to cross my fingers now and hope this works. So you see, when we first load this, we're not logged in and we get this error message back right here. You must be logged in to view this content. So if I refresh, let's see if that still works. Yep. We still see this message. If I log in, so Mario at the net ninja.co.uk and then test one, two, three, four, I'm going to log in. Hopefully we're going to see the data now. Yep. We see all of that data. And if I refresh, we should see all of that data as well. If I log out, then we should hide that data. And it says you must be logged in to view this content. Awesome. So this is all working. The only thing we need to do now really is style this content because it looks absolutely pants. So let's open up the guides module and I'm literally just going to copy these from my GitHub repo over here. Woohoo. So let me copy all of this stuff. And don't forget, you can get this by going to the course files. The link is down below, choosing lesson 10 and then finding the guides module CSS file. So I've copied those. I just want to paste them over here like so, save it and come back over here. Okay. So that's the error message. That looks a bit better. And if I log in with Mario at the net ninja.co.uk test one, two, three, four, I'm going to log in. And now we can see they look a bit better as well. Awesome. So everything now, my friends is working. Now, finally, I just want to deploy this to Netlify to make sure everything works up on the web as well. So let me open up my terminal over here. I'm going to open up the second terminal and I'll say git add, then git commit m and we'll say identity function added for the message. Press enter. We need to push this up now. Git push origin main. Once we push that up to GitHub, it's going to trigger a deployment on Netlify for us. And if I refresh over here, hopefully we'll see that process starting. Yeah, we do. Awesome. So let's just wait for this to build. 
Once that's done, we can open this up in a browser and we can try this out. I'm going to go to guides and you can see I'm not logged in. So we get the error message. If I log in now, I'm going to say Mario at the net ninja.co.uk and then test one, two, three, four. I'm going to log in and then hopefully we should see the content. And if I refresh, we get that content as well. Awesome. All working.